In this presentation we're going to look at how to compute factorials and binomial coefficients. Now first off I'm going to start with factorials. A factorial of a positive integer, for example 1, 2, 3 and so on, is the product of that integer by every positive integer that precedes it. So that means every positive integer, integer that is less than n. Now, the way we would denote that is a uh, factorial of n is denoted by this exclamation mark, so n exclamation mark. Now, for example, 5 factorial, what we will do is multiply 5 by every integer that precedes it, 4 by 3 by 2 by 1, until we get to our answer 120. Now, the relevant R function here is simply factorial. So I'm going to type this into R now, factorial of 5, 120, factorial of, let's say, 8, 40,320. Uh, they get very big very fast. For example, I'm going to type in the factorial of 20. I'm going to get a huge number now, absolutely massive number. They need scientific notation for this. Um, I'm going to also... In compute the factorial of zero. A lot of people think the factorial of zero should be zero, but in matter of, as a matter of fact, it, has, it is actually one. Zero factorial equals one. So that's factorials taken care of. Now I'm going to look at binomial coefficients. Now binomial coefficients are used to describe the number of combinations of k items that can be selected from a set of n items. In other words, how many ways of there are there of selecting k items when there are n to choose from. For example, how many way are ways of there of picking two items when you have six to choose from. Now, the choose operator is usually how we might describe this. Um, it's the operator for computing binomial coefficients. So we might choose as, choose, uh, compute it as uh, denoted it like this or like this. So, there's a formula for it, um, and it, it is actually based on factorials. So that's why I included factorials in this um, demonstration. So it's n factorial divided by k factorial times n minus k factorial. Now, the relevant R function here is simply choose. Now, suppose we have six items to choose from and I want to find out how many ways are there of picking two items from six. There are actually 15. I'll have, no, have a go at six, choose four. Uh, 15. Now just as a remark, the n value, the number, the total number of items comes first and then the number of items that you get to choose comes second. So for example, it would not it would not work if we done it the other way around. We get a zero there. That is a, a nonsense answer. Okay, um, 10 choose six, there we are, 210. Now, um, yep, that's it.